House Cleansing Prayer Pray daily to invite the Holy Spirit. Cleansing our houses and keeping them cleansed is imperative. God, in Leviticus 14, verses 33 to 53, recommended particular ways the Israelites were to cleanse their houses when they entered Canaan. They were to cleanse them because they were occupying a pagan land where demonic sacrifice and offerings were made, idols were worshipped, and the houses were both physically and spiritually contaminated. As a redeemed and blood-bought believer, the blood of Jesus has the power to cleanse your house. Thus the devil will not have access and a place in your house. Yet, demonic forces can reside in our houses if we give them access. And if they are present, we have felt them attacking us and our poor loved ones. But we should not be afraid, because you belong to God, the creator of heaven and earth. As a child of God, we must ensure that we pray and invite the Holy Spirit of God into our homes. If you can, pray this prayer every day. Let us pray for your home. Heavenly Father, I come before you in the mighty and all-powerful name of Jesus, and thank you that this is the day that you have made, and I choose to rejoice and be glad in it. I thank you for allowing me to have a place that I can call home. As I pray to you today, I come before your holy throne and dedicate this home to your Lord in the name Jesus. Thank you for the authority you have given me through the name of Jesus. I take authority right now over every scheme of the devil towards my life and my household and rebuke it in Jesus' name. I submit to your plan for my life, Lord, in Jesus' name. I do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness in this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Therefore I put on your whole armor, that I may be able to stand my ground this day. I stand firm having girded my waist with the truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness and shod my feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Additionally, I take the shield of faith with which I will be able to quench all the devil's fiery darts. I also take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is your word. And I pray in the Spirit, being alert to the end, with perseverance and with all prayers. Dear God, I now ask you to grant me the gift of discerning spirits, so that I may rebuke and remove spirits from my house that is not you. I ask, Lord, in the name of Jesus, for my home to be filled with the Holy Spirit, and for your Spirit to live in this home. By faith I come unto you this day, Lord, and ask that your Holy Spirit may reveal to me anything I need to pray about specifically in Jesus' name. I ask that your Holy Spirit may reveal to me anything I need to remove from this home, and anything that does not glorify you, Lord. I also open my home to your holy angels. May they assist me with the cleansing of all spirits that are not of you. I pray that you open the windows of heaven upon my home that I may be able to live in the reality of Jacob's ladder, which is found in your word in Genesis 28 verse 12, that states, And he dreamed, and behold a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven, and behold the angels of God ascending and descending on it. Father, I pray that this may be the reality in my home in Jesus' name. Psalms 34 verse 7 says, The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. Thank you, Lord, that your angels are encamping around my house and around my loved ones. May angels stand guard on every corner of this house and around every perimeter, from the front to the back, side to side, from the ceiling to the floor, to protect it and preserve my family from all dangers, distractions, and delays. Thank you, Father, for your anointing 
that is present to break every yoke and lift all burdens. I anoint all the windows and doors at every corner and top. I apply the precious blood of Jesus on this home. Allow this home to be a home of peace, a home of true peace. Your word says in John 14 verse 27, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Allow this home to be home of the peace spoken in John 14 verse 27. Even as we sleep, Lord, watch over us in Jesus' name. I believe and I know I am a child of the King. Therefore I decree that the same power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him up in the heavenly places resides in me, and I am seated together with him. I believe your word. Therefore I know that this is my position. Thus, as a result of my position, I stand on the authority given to me and rebuke any unclean spirits that claims ground on this house based on activities done by past occupants to leave now and never return in Jesus' mighty name. I cover my house and family with the precious blood of Jesus. I pray that your favor may be upon this house. I pray that your favor may be upon this anointing. Your word is the glue that eliminates all ungodly things and your spirit seals it. Thank you, Lord, that it is finished. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that has authority over the heavens and over the earth that my house is holy ground. I now enter into rest and decree that you keep me in perfect peace, for my mind is stayed on you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your protection, creativity, love, favor, health, productivity, and all other benefits of salvation resonating with your glory in this house. In Jesus' name I pray and believe. Amen and Amen. Now I just want to read Psalm 91 over your home. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot, because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. <laughs>